LeBron James just destroys the Lakers every time he's on the floor. Here comes a dribble handoff with Gabe Vincent. Why is Bronny on the floor if he's not attacking and getting in the lane? Look at how late Bradley Beal's getting over here on this handoff. Look at Bronny. Why are you not getting in the lane? Look, at I could get in the lane. Get in the lane. Maybe you draw help. Maybe that allows Jackson Hayes. Look at this. Get in the lane. What are you, a fan in the stands could get in the lane. Maybe this draws help, and then maybe Jackson Hayes is open on the lob. I don't know. Why are you passing here? I, wh what? The Lakers are in drop coverage here. Anthony Davis is stepping up on the ball. Bradley Beal's not getting this shot off. Why is Bron James... Anthony Davis is stepping up here. Why is Bron... Just d get over the top of the screen and be able to guard. Why are you... Anthony Davis steps up. Why are you trying to get a block shot from behind and smacking Bradley Beal in the head? Two-shot foul. The Lakers run a pick and roll. Anthony Davis gets a guard switched onto him. Now, D'Angelo Russell, for whatever reason, isn't making this pass. He gets it to Bronny James. This pass has got to go down low right now. Like, wait, a bounce pass, get it over the top. I don't know. Get the ball down low. There's not enough time for you to be dancing around looking for other things. Anthony Davis has a guard on him. That ball's got to get down there. What is Bronny James doing? There's no time on the shot clock. It... This is so basic. The Lakers are in drop coverage. Bronny, the roller's coming to your side and backside help. You must jam them as he comes through to knock him off the spot so Anthony Davis has time to get back to him. Bronny, you cannot not touch him here. Like, Anthony, I gotta jam him right now. You don't touch him. Anthony Davis has no time to get back in the play. Ronnie James can be a very, very useful NBA player if he would ever cut. Look at Anthony Davis. Now, again, he's got a guard switched on to him down low. Now the pass gets made. Bronny, Royce O'Neal, who's guarding you, is going to double. I must cut here. Must cut. Must cut. Cut. That's either a layup for me, or I take Kevin Durant with me. Now Dalton connects wide open in the corner. But how is Bronny not cutting here? Look at this. You're letting Kevin Durant guard two Lakers players. It's just unbelievable and nothing. Bronny James is in backside help on this pick and roll, on this skip pass out. Please just get out and guard. Be ready to guard. Don't make this horrible gamble. So now Royce O'Neal's got it in the lane. Open catch and shoot three. Ronnie James again. Running the pick and roll with Anthony Davis. Again, Anthony Davis has a guard in Bradley Beal switched on to him. Why is Bronny James not pulling this dribble out and attacking the mismatch down low? That's the mismatch right there. Attack it down low. Why is Bronny James trying to create for himself to do what? A lot of this is coaching too. Who is looking at film with Bronny? Like these mistakes, this is coaching too. Anthony Davis is going to set a ball screen. Bronny, get out of the way. Get to the weak side of the floor so your defender goes to the weak side of the floor and Anthony Davis has space to roll. What is Bronny James doing setting a cross screen here? So now when Anthony Davis comes off the screen, where is he rolling to? Bronny's defender is sitting and waiting. You're just clogging up space. <laughs> Bronny James can be a good NBA player if he understands how to run pick and roll. The defender's always going under every ball screen with Bronny James. Every single one. So how do you counter this? Stop. Why is your dribble picked up? That player for the Lakers there is twisting to set a second screen because they're not going to be able to go under that second screen. Now you can come off it and get in the lane. The Suns are going to be in drop coverage with Bull Bull and that creates a two-on-one. One ball screen's never going to get it done. They're going to go under so we got to twist and set that second screen. But Bronny's not even looking. Not even trying to come off a second screen on the twist. It's just swinging it, and this is another wasted possession. And then seconds later, the Lakers turn it over, of course. If you're Bronny James, you got to do something here. Like, why are we not trying to contest this layup? If you want to avoid a foul, then just get your hands up in the air and let the layup happen. You cannot just stand right under the player right here. That's a flagrant foul every time with no landing spot. 
Ronnie James getting cooked off the dribble. You're going under this first screen. So once we're under, we're just guarding the ball. Nick Richards is going to twist and set a second screen. We'll guard that screen when Gillespie comes off it. Look at Bronny James here. Just guard the ball. Instead, what are you doing? Leaning towards that second screen, getting blown by. This is going to force help. And a wide open corner three for Bull Bull. All of this stuff is so elementary. This is why I'm wondering. This is coaching too. Who's watching film with Bronny? Who's coaching this? The defender here does a great job getting in the gaps. Getting this dribble picked up. Look at this. Look, we can get in the gaps. Stunt, recover. Perfect. So Bronny James. This is the shell drill in a game. Bronny James. That You got to do it too. Up the line. Just like that defender did. Stunt at the ball. Get the dribble picked up. Recover. Eh, Bronny James is going to the three-point line, not in the gaps, right to the rim for two. Just getting cooked off the dribble by Connor Gillespie. Bronny, just show your hands and slide your feet and be ready to guard. Instead, Bronny James is lazily walking uphill to crowd Connor Gillespie. So as you're walking up to guard him, he's just going to be blowing by you downhill. You're playing off your front foot right here walking. He's going to blow by you downhill right here, right to the rim for two. And this is, again, just a complete lack of effort defensively. So first of all, why is Bronny James not sprinting back, getting to the three-point line with his back turned, ready to guard? So Bronny James is walking for no reason. That's why he has no... You're going to be, as you're walking to the three-point line, Connor Gillespie is going to fly off a handoff that you're going to be an hour... Look, you're going to be an hour late to get over this right here. This is clearly, though, a veer switch. And why are you walking still? Veer switch. So I got to switch on to Nick Richards here. Jackson Hayes is taking the ball. Like, Bronny James is walking to nowhere. That's clearly got to be a veer switch. I don't even know what he's walking. Two... The same mistakes happen over and over again. Bronny, you're watching a ball screen get set. I can't be in that strong side corner. I've got to get to the weak side of the floor. So my defender is also to the weak side of the floor. Anytime Bronny James is standing in the strong side corner on a pick and roll, the roller is going to have no place to go to. Where's Jackson Hayes rolling to? He's rolling. Bronny James stood on the strong side corner. So now his defender, there's no place for Jackson Hayes to roll to. He's rolling right into Bronny's defender. Instead of that being a lob, it ends up being nothing. And the Lakers have to reset.